Well, I want to have a look at ionic bonding today. We've looked at something about structure, and I want to get on and have a look a little bit more about how ions are formed. And I've got a few things to try and show you. Let's have a look, to start with, at a simple metallic ion. And this metallic ion would be that of lithium. So let's start with the atom of lithium. It's got two electrons in its first shell and we've got a th third electron in the third shell. When this atom becomes an ion, it gives away one of its electrons and this forms a shell that is complete. The shell is two. So that's lithium. Let's look at a different one. Let's look at perhaps something like sodium. So that's going to have a full inner electron shell. The next shell is going to be full and the outer shell has one electron. It's got 11. Here we give away this one electron and when I give away this one electron we get a stable shell. We've got a full shell here, got a full shell there. We've got a sort of a, a noble gas configuration where we've got sets of full shells. So we can see that sodium in group one is giving away one electron and we saw that lithium in group one gave away one electron, both giving full shells. If we take another substance like magnesium, this has got two electrons in its outer shell. It's in group two, so when it gives away to make a complete full shell, it needs to give away two electrons. So here is our idea about how an ion is formed. This is a met metal ion, it's giving away one electron. Now if we look at the same thing, but this time with a non-metal ion and we'll choose something like fluorine so let's have a look I've got fluorine it's got two electrons in its inner shell and it's got because it's got nine electrons it's got in this shell two four five six seven it can lose the seven electrons to form a noble gas structure but that's hard work it would be easier if this were to gain one electron so if I react this with my sodium, it is easier that my sodium now donates one of its electrons to give this a noble gas structure. And I can put this electron in here and it forms with fluorine a noble gas structure so they're stable the fluorine changes its name to fluoride well there's this it with a these things let's have a look and see if we can draw it out on a piece of paper because it might be a little bit easier to see what's going on so let's draw out our structure of sodium and we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on 
here is sodium it's got our first shell that we drew before with two electrons it's got its next shell with eight electrons in it I'm just doing these as crosses there we are, there's my sodium and it's got an outer shell with one electron in it and this is going to react with fluorine fluorine fairly similar we'll give it dots this time these are called dot and cross diagrams perhaps the reason is reasonably obvious this requires one more electron to make a full shell this one needs to get rid of one to make a full shell so let's take these atoms and turn them into ions to draw our ions I'm going to put in my electrons for sodium. I have yet to manage to draw the perfect circle. And we've lost that electron. So it's complete here. I'm going to put it in brackets to show it's an ion. And I'm going to put the charge. Now, I've lost one negative charge. Here we've got the same number of positives as the same number of negatives so I've got sodium has got 11 protons so 11 positive charges 11 electrons 11 negative charges that's going to make it 11 positives 11 negatives that's going to be equal so these atoms have no charge on them I have removed one negative so I've got one more positive so this is positively charged let's look at the fluorine the fluorine has now gained one electron to get its full shell and it's got the electron from the sodium I'm just going to draw that as an X now in reality we cannot tell any of the electrons apart this is just for the sake of showing you where it's come from this has now got a full shell so it's happy and in this full shell it's got an extra negative charge so it's negative overall so these ions we've got the sodium ion doesn't change its name but the fluorine does change to fluoride to give an indication it's an ion so the fluoride ion sodium fluoride sodium chloride sodium bromide sodium iodide are all different ions had I drawn chlorine out here and I made sodium chloride common salt that's essential to life but chlorine gas and sodium are quite toxic fluorine really toxic you don't want to be around with fluorine it basically reacts with everything which is why you don't see it used in the laboratory so we draw a lot of these dot and cross diagrams out but is there an easier way to try and show it well I hope so and let's go over and have a look and see what we can do here I've, I've got, got the, the same, same sort, sort of, of arrangement that we had before, before. Uh, we'll just, just move, move the camera, camera so, so you can see, see this clearer, clearer. I've got, I've got my, my sodium, sodium atom, atom here. here. It, it contains, contains one, one extra, extra electron, electron in its outer, outer shell. shell. Now what, now what we're, we're going to do with this, this is we're going to react, react it with fluorine. 
fluorine wants, wants one, one more, more electron. electron. And, and so they, they can combine, combine with, with the sodium, sodium donating, donating its, its electron, electron to the fluorine, fluorine giving, giving us sodium, sodium fluoride. So, so I've got, got the, the extra, extra sticky bit, bit, bit to, to signify, signify one, one electron, electron being, being donated, donated and, and I've, I've got, got one, one cut out bit, bit to show the it wants, wants one, one electron. electron. There, we there we are, sodium, sodium fluoride. fluoride. We could, we could have, done have done the same, same arrangement, arrangement with, with chlorine. Chlorine, chlorine has a need, need for one, one extra, extra electron. electron. It's, it's got, got a, a bigger, bigger shell. shell. It means it's, it's less, less reactive, reactive than, than chlorine. chlorine. And, and this, this reacts, reacts with, with the chlorine, chlorine giving, giving us sodium, sodium chloride. chloride. In, In fact, fact, we, we have, have several, several of these going, going along, forming... forming Are different, are different salt, salt here. here. There, there we are. Gives an, an idea, idea of what it looks like. like. So, so given a like better idea, idea of what it looks, looks like, like, we can, can use, use a model. model. And, and here, here I've, I've got, got a, a molly mod model, model of, of a crystal, crystal of, of sodium, sodium chloride. chloride. I'm, I'm using, using this because it's, it's easier, easier to try and show, show you what's, what's going, going on. When, when this, this then reacts, reacts and, and combines, combines the, the sodium, sodium combines, combines with, with the, the chlorine, chlorine to form, form our particular bond, our sodium, sodium chloride, chloride, it doesn't, it doesn't do it do as basically, basically two, two single, single atoms. atoms. There's, There's a whole bunch of them around. And, and with, with each, each sodium, sodium it's, it's now positively charged. charged. The chlorine is negatively, negatively charged. So, so this, this sodium, sodium in the middle, the middle attracts, attracts different, different chlorines. chlorines. It, attracts it attracts one, one two, two, three, three four, four of them around, around it, and one, one on top, top and, and one, one underneath. underneath. So, so six, six in all. In all. If we, if we look, look at, at what's happening, happening to, to a chlorine, chlorine then, then a chlorine is attracting one, one two, two, three, three four, four sodiums, sodiums one, one behind, and one, one in front, in front which I haven't got, got here. here. So, so that's, that's going to give me each, each sodium, sodium touching, touching six, six chlorines, chlorines and, each and each chlorine, chlorine Touching six, six sodiums, which, which is going to give me six NaL, six Cl, which is, which is the same, same as just saying my, my substance is sodium chloride. What happens, what happens if we react, react a, different a different substance? substance? Let's, Let's have, have lithium, lithium come along. Lithium, lithium like, like sodium. sodium has one, one extra, extra electron, electron to get rid of, rid of. so it, it reacts, reacts with chlorine, chlorine <coughs> forming, forming lithium, lithium chloride, L-I-C-L. In the, the same, same way, way we, could we could have, have some, some potassium, potassium come, along. come along, and, and potassium, potassium will react, react with, with the, the chlorine. chlorine. The, the potassium has got, got one, one extra electron, electron into every shell, shell and, and the chlorine, chlorine still wants one, one, so, so we, we get KCl. If we're, if we're looking, looking at, at this, this family, family, we go, go down, down group, group one, one, we've, we've got, got lithium, lithium, sodium, sodium and potassium, potassium each, each one. one. In group, in group one, one and it's, it's name, name. They're, they're donating, donating one, one electron, electron each. each. What about, what about group, group two? two? Well, well, let's have, let's a, have look a look at group, group two. two. I've, I've got, got magnesium. magnesium. And, and here, here we've, we've got, got magnesium. magnesium. And magnesium is going to react, react with, with let's let's say, chlorine. chlorine. 
going to rank, rank chlorine. chlorine. Magnesium, Magnesium in group, group two, 2 has 2 electrons, electrons to get, get rid of. And, and if it's, it's trying to get rid of 2 electrons, then it needs to get rid of the other one. one. And, it, and does it does so by reacting with, with another chlorine, chlorine atom. atom. So, so magnesium, magnesium here, here because it's, it's got, got two, two electrons, electrons to get rid of, of. The, chlorine the chlorine wants one. one. So, so the, the only way we're going to do that, that is to have, have two chlorines. chlorines. And that's, that's going to give us the formula NgCl2. How about group three? Well, well, that's, that's going to be, be more or less, or less the, same the same sort of, of idea. idea. We've, We've got, got aluminium, aluminium in, in group, group three. three. It's, it's got, got three, three electrons, electrons to get, to get rid of. of. So, so it, it reacts, reacts with, with one chlorine, two chlorines, three chlorines, giving, giving us the formula AL, AL CL, CL Three. There, there are, are three, three of them. Well, that's, well, that's easy, easy enough. enough. What, what happens, happens when, when things, things don't, don't work, work out, out quite, quite as, as we, we expect? expect. So, so let's, let's take, take sodium, sodium and, and let's, let's react, react the sodium, sodium with, with oxygen. oxygen. So, so I'm going to react, react sodium, sodium with oxygen. oxygen. Sodium's, Sodium's got, got one, one electron to get, get rid of. of. The oxygen, the oxygen wants, wants it in group, group six. six. It wants, wants two, two electrons. electrons. Group six, so, uh, six, six, yes. yes. It, it wants, wants two, two electrons. electrons. So, so it, it is in need of something else. So it needs another sodium to come in and react. It wants two. Sodium donates one each. I'll move it better so you can see. A formula in a two O. Magnesium wants to come along and react with oxygen. Magnesium uses gives up two electrons. Oxygen wants to, so they combine, giving me the formula Mg O. I'm glad, I'm glad you can, you can see, see the difference in colour, because I really, really struggle, struggle here. The advantage is being colour blind. So, so, we can, can get, get different, different arrangements of things. things. Oh, oh, there's our oxygen. oxygen. We've we met, met our, our chlorine, chlorine and G CL2. CL2. What would what happen, happen if we meet, we meet something, something like aluminium, aluminium coming, coming along? along. Aluminium, aluminium is in, in group, group Three. So, so let's have aluminium. aluminium. Well, that's well, easy. easy. We had we aluminium, aluminium chloride, chloride ALCl3. Al that's, that's all easy. easy. At least it would, would be the case. It didn't move. move. But how about when, when it reacts, reacts with, with oxygen? oxygen? If, if I, I react, react this with, with oxygen. oxygen the aluminium, the aluminium reacts, reacts certainly with the oxygen, oxygen nicely, nicely and, and we've, we've still, still got, got a spare electron, electron to get, get rid of. Well, well we, we can do, do that. that. We can, we can react, react it with, with another oxygen. oxygen. Ah, now, now I've still, still need an extra, extra something, something here. here. So, so let's, let's bring, bring in another, another atom of, of aluminium. aluminium. And, and it reacts, reacts with, with another, another of, of oxygen. oxygen. And, and there, there we've, we've got, got formula, formula AL2 O3. They've, They've got, got the same, same number, number of electrons you've donated, donated and, and received. received. Could it happen in group four? four. Well, well, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll look, look at something, something down there. Let's, Let's look, look at tin, tin. symbol SN. 
that's, that's going to react, react with, with chlorine, chlorine tin, tin chloride. chloride. I, I could get, get tin, tin one, two, one, two, three, four. So, so SN, SN CL, four. four. They're not no, going together well, are they? I need a nice felt board, board for, this. for this. How about, How about reacting, reacting with, with oxygen? oxygen. Well, well that, that's again, again fairly easy. easy. Here, we, Here are. we are, oxygen. oxygen. We, need we need another, another one. one. So, so here, here, my, my tin, tin is SN02. We've, We've got, got tin, tin reacting, reacting with, with the, the two, two oxygens. oxygens. We've, We've got, got other, other chemicals, chemicals that behave differently. differently. I've, I've got, got iron. iron. And my, my atoms, atoms of iron, iron being, being transition, transition elements, can, can either, either have Fe2+, Fe two two plus plus or, or they can, can have Fe3+. Fe three three plus. Plus. If, if I am 2 plus reactor with oxygen, oxygen then, then we, we get, get quite, quite easily Fe0. Fe Fe but, but if this, this iron, iron here, here reacts, reacts with, with oxygen, oxygen very, very much, much like the way that, way that aluminium, aluminium works, works. We, we need, need another, another iron, iron. And we've, we've got, got two, two different, different types of iron, iron oxide. oxide. Either, Either iron, iron two, two oxide, oxide or iron, iron three oxide. oxide. Iron, iron two, two oxide, oxide is Fe O. o. Iron, iron three oxide is, is going to be Fe two O three. O three. And they're and not they look different. different. They, they have. have Different, different properties, properties different, different, different chemical, chemical properties. properties. They, they react, react differently. differently. They, they look, look differently. They feel, feel different. different. We can, can mix, mix it up and, and cause a few, a few more, problems. more problems. How about if, if I, I need something, something like, like a, a hydroxide? hydroxide. Here's, Here's a, a hydroxide. hydroxide. We've, We've got, got H. H Oh, oh. join together. I never, I never understand, understand why, why chemists, chemists do boring, boring thing, thing and, and we have, have boring, boring chemicals, chemicals. We, always we always have, have some exciting, exciting chemicals. chemicals. You see, you see, if we're, if we're going to put sodium, sodium with, this, with this, we make, make NaOH. As far as, as, far as I'm concerned, it would be much better, better if we had NaHO. Because then we'd get ho 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 for some quite good funny chemicals. But we don't. don't. Chemists didn't, didn't think, think of doing, doing that. that. So, so here, here I've got, got NaOH, so sodium hydroxide. hydroxide. We want, we want one. one. Similarly, Similarly, if I wanted want to, to make potassium, potassium hydroxide. hydroxide, it just, it just requires, requires one. one. But, but what, what happens, happens if, if I want, want to make something, something like, like Calcium, calcium hydroxide. hydroxide. Calcium, calcium comes along, along and it's, it's not going to work. work. And, and what we're going to need with, with this, this is another, another hydroxide, hydroxide to form CaOH twice. twice. There, there are two, two of, them. of them. And when we, we would put, put that, that in brackets. Quite, Quite complicated in the way it's, it's actually working. working. But, but with these, these little, little bits and pieces, pieces hopefully, hopefully it's, it's a little, little bit easier to see, see how, how they, they react. react. So we so have, we have whole, whole families, families of, of different, different chemicals. chemicals. We've, We've got, got Magnesium, magnesium and calcium, calcium group, group two, two, each with two 
electrons to give away. We've got, We've got the group, group one. one. We've got, We've got the lithium. lithium. We've got, got the sodium. I'll try and put it straight, it straight for, you. for you. We've, We've got, got the potassium. potassium. Group, group three. three. We've, We've got, got the aluminium. aluminium. Three, three electrons, electrons to donate. donate. And, and if, if we, we look, look at, at these with, with their, their counterparts, we've, we've got, got the halogens. halogens. We've, we've got, got fluorine, fluorine, fluorine once, once one. one. Chlorine, chlorine the, same, the same, once, once one. one. Bromine, Bromine again, again, once one. one. Iodine, Iodine once, once one. one. That, that means, means they, they all have, have similar, similar properties. properties. We might, might have those, those that, that want, want two. two. And here, and here I've, I've just got, got the, the oxygen. oxygen. I haven't have bothered to go and make, make lots, lots more, more cardboard, cardboard cut out because, because, because you can, can see, see how, how hopefully, hopefully these, these are working. working. There we, there we are. are. I, I hope, hope that, that gives you, you an, an idea, idea how, how some, some of these, these work. work. So, so we've, we've got, got a variety, variety of different, of different bits, bits and pieces. pieces. I'm just, just having, having a quick, quick tidy, tidy here. here. So, so I'll show, show you the, the next, next bit. bit. Right. right. Okay. Looking, Looking at, at our, our periodic, periodic table. table. Uh, all all got to try and adjust, adjust it, it then. then. We've, We've got, got right there. there. Group, group one. one. These, these give, give up one, one electron. electron. Group, group two. two. They give, they give up, up two, two electrons. electrons. Moving, moving over, over the, the other side, side group, group three, they give, give up three electrons. electrons. Four, four, five, five six, six, seven. They, they can, can give them, them up, they, they don't, don't necessarily want to. to. Ionic, Ionic compounds, compounds are formed with the metals, metals and, and if we draw a sort of a diagonal line, line across here, here we've, got we've got the metals, metals always with a non-metal, or a particular group, group of, of things, things combining, combining like sulfate, sulfur and oxygen, oxygen joining together, SO4. SO4. We've, We've got, got the, the nitrate, nitrate nitrogen, nitrogen and, and oxygen joining together. together. We've, We've got, got the carbonate, carbonate carbon and oxygen, oxygen joining together. together. Hydroxide. Hydroxide. Oxygen, oxygen and hydrogen, hydrogen joining, joining together. together. And, and there, there are many, many more, more of these, not, not so widely met. met. And, and this, this is always a metal, a metal this, side, this side, reacting, reacting with the non-metal, the, non the other side. side. What, what happens, happens if we want, we want to, to look at, at a, a different, different type, type of chemical, a covalent one? A covalent compound is where we get a non-metal and a non-metal combining. So in these we had metal plus non-metal making the ionic but if we go and have a look at the covalent then we're looking at a non-metal joining to a non-metal. All right, let's try one of these. Let's take something like carbon. If I draw out carbon, it's got two electrons in its inner shell 
and we've got four electrons in its outer shell. It's got six electrons in all. This is now going to combine with hydrogen. We're going to make methane. Here's our hydrogen and it provides one electron. Here's another hydrogen. It's providing one electron. Here's another one. It's providing one electron. And another one. It's providing one electron. As far as this hydrogen is concerned, it can see two electrons. So therefore, it's a happy bunny because it can see a full shell. And so it's stable and it's happy. This hydrogen can also see two electrons, so it's happy. This one, likewise, can see two electrons, so it's happy. And the fourth one, exactly like the other three, can see two electrons and it's happy. The carbon's got a full shell here, and on the outside it can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. So it's got this stable 2,8 structure for carbon and it's got this 2 structure for hydrogen. So they're both happy. They can see the required number of electrons to give them a stable shell. But this one we're working on sharing electrons. And that's what covalent means. The sharing of electrons. Let's have a look at some models because it makes it a lot clearer than trying to do this. And I'm going to use some of my favourite models. I'm going to have a look at some snatums. So we're going to move on here from looking at sharing in ion, uh, swapping in ionic to basically covalent bonding where we're actually sharing electrons. And here yeah, we've got, got my, my favourite snatums, pretty, pretty good. good. There, there is, is a new, new version, version out, out. Statums X, X, which, which gives, gives me a whole, whole variety, variety of new covalent molecules I can, I can play, play with. with. So, so we'll have a look, look at, at both, both of these, these the, old the old works, works with the new. The new. Right. right, let's, let's make, make our, our carbon. carbon. Right, space, space to, work. to work. Let's, let's try, try taking, taking a carbon, a carbon atom. atom. A carbon, a carbon atom, atom here, here, I'm going to move, move these stuff out of the way, way so you can see it easier. easier. A carbon, carbon atom, atom here has four. four. Electrons, electrons that they want to share, to share with. And, and here, here we can, we can see, see them. One, one two, two, three, three one, one on the bottom. Let's, Let's join, join this, this with, with hydrogen, hydrogen, which has, has one, one to make methane. And, and there, there we've, we've got, got now not, not what will look like, like a square shape, shape but, but here, here we've, we've got, got a tetrahedral shape. shape. A, a triangular-based triangular pyramid. pyramid. So, so this, this is a molecule of methane. methane. Let's have a look, look at this one. one. This, this is nitrogen. Nitrogen, nitrogen has three, three electrons, electrons to share. share. One, one, two, two three. three. 
and according to my geometry, this should be a nice planar molecule to get them as far away. But it doesn't quite work like that. Because this molecule of nitrogen has some extra electrons. Let's try and draw this to see what happens. Now, what I've got is these three electrons, and let's draw out the molecule. So I've got nitrogen, it's got two electrons in its inner shell, and looking at nitrogen, it's got one, two, one, two, three. So it's got seven electrons to try and play around with. These stick together and they form a, a pair. We'll call them, well they look by themselves, so we'll call them a lone pair. Here comes the hydrogens. One, two, three. So this one can see two, this one can see two, this one can see two. The hydrogens are happy. The nitrogen wants to see eight in its outer shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the nitrogen's happy. But I've got this extra set of electrons. And they're basically here where my finger is. And they are as far apart as all the other ones are. So it's still a trigonal structure. These electrons are a bit closer, so they actually push those down a little bit more, but basically we're left with this trigonal structure. How about water? Well, let's look at what water looks like. I've got oxygen, it's got electrons in its inner shell. In its outer shell, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. It joins with the hydrogen. And now the hydrogens, they're happy. We've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. We've got this time two lone pairs. What does that give us? Well, well if we look at our oxygen, oxygen it's, it's got, got two, two atoms, two, two electrons, electrons to share. One, two. two. And, and again, again it is, is this basic. basic tetrahedral shape. I've got one there and one lone pair there. So it's giving us the same sort of shape and it's explaining why the water molecule looks a little bit more like a, a Mickey Mouse head than anything else. Rather than being straight it's a particular way round. Right so we've got methane, we've got ammonia which is nitrogen and hydrogen and we've got oxygen with the hydrogen water what else can we do well let's look at an awkward one carbon here I can react it with another carbon and let's put on some hydrogens And I formed there a family. This is methane. This is the next one along. This is ethane. I could, in fact, draw the do next one along. And this one, if I put the electrons on, 
prepare the cover the electrons with these hydrogens. There we are. We have propane for making what's called a homologous series. We've got one carbon, two carbons, three carbons. I can go on and make some more. But let's take a look at this one. What I could have done here is I could have joined my carbon not using one bond, but I could have used two bonds to join the carbon. And this makes a different molecule. We've got these little sticks to try and hold them. This is not ethane, which is that one there, but this is ethene. It has a double bond. And double bonds are really useful in chemistry because they're more reactive. So this substance is pretty useless. This is ethane and it's pretty good for burning. And that's about it really. Methane, as far as I know, is only really used for burning. Really, it's the most useful thing it does. But ethene is a much more useful molecule because it's got this double bond that can be broken and that's much more reactive and I can join it together to make lots of ethenes, polyethene or polythene and we can make a whole variety of other chemicals. I just want to have a look at a couple more quickly. If we take a molecule of oxygen, the two oxygens are joined together, but both bonds are used. So, this is a molecule of oxygen with its double bond. So, because it's got a double bond, this means that oxygen is pretty reactive. And that's what we find in the world at large. Let's take another one. Let's take our nitrogen. This is going to make just nitrogen gas. We've got three bonds to use. Can we use all three? And the brilliance of this snatums is yes, it will. And if I offer this in the right way, there I've got a triple bond and if you thought you can get a lot out of a double bond then you can get even more out of a triple bond. Nitrogen is fairly hard to break apart. It's got a triple bond, it requires a lot of energy to break off not one bond but two but three. But when it does react it forms quite reactive chemicals and we notice that most explosives have got nitrogen in them because it is so reactive. So we've got this idea of bonds with snatons. Now I'm going to finish by having a look at a different way of looking at these molecules. And some of you may come across looking at some of these sort of molecules. This is molymod. And what it can do is we can do some cheating with it. And what I can do is I've got these same sort of oxygen molecules that we had before and I can put on my hydrogen. They don't join as well as the satoms. You have to really work at these to try and push them in.
but I can make a molecule of water here much smaller than the Snatham's versions but we can make up bigger longer more complicated models and there is one of an amino acid amino acid it's got a double bond here with its oxygen and it's got a short carbon chain with a nitrogen on it we generally you choose colors blue for nitrogen black for carbon red for oxygen and white for hydrogen and we can build up all sorts of molecules with this but I want to finish by showing you this little thing I'm going to build a molecule of water and I'm just going to take this apart because oxygen really has four bonds so there's one I'll put it on the other way there is two but it's got these other two spare lumps and what I can do with this molly mod is I can show you it's got two extra bits these are just the extra electrons the lone pair which is why it's got this particular shape because we've got those two lone pairs so it still is this tetrahedral structure that we've got in the methane and we can see here in the water so quite interesting what we can actually achieve with some of these models to sort of have a look at next time we'll have a look at what we can do with some of these molecules we'll have a look at what we can do when we start building some of these covalent compounds next to one another and we'll see what happens with some of those and then we'll go on and have a look at metals so next week we'll have a look at what goes on with those i look forward to seeing you then so take care stay safe and i'll see you next time bye bye How long?